sound speed, so get your listening ears on because this is Masked Mics, the very first episode. And if you have no idea what this series is about, then watch this video right here because it will explain all. Let's start off with a noise floor comparison between these two microphones. Now to compare these microphones, and for this first video, I thought I would tell you a story that took place on a set I was working on a few years ago. This movie was a period movie, and it took place in the 1980s. The scene we were shooting was taking place on the city streets of Nicaragua, and we were shooting it in downtown Atlanta. So when I arrived at 6.30 a.m., you can imagine the art department had already had a lot of fun decorating the streets to look like Nicaragua. They had straw baskets all over the place with weird, you know, fruit and mint and, you know, stuff that was very much Nicaragua. The women were dressed head to toe in dresses that were very poor looking because it was a poor street. And the men were just wearing ratty shorts with no shoes and maybe a hat if they were lucky. Everybody had a nice deep tan that looked like they were would have been on the streets of Nicaragua in the 1980s. It looked great. So I looked around and I said, well, there's really nothing uh, sound wise I need to address. So I don't need to hunt down locations and get them on something early. Of course, it's also rush hour traffic time. So <laughs> what could I really do? I decided I was going to go to breakfast. And on that show, we had the best caterer that, you know, in my opinion, is the best caterer in the business. Mario's. Now, they said, yeah, just go down there around the corner and you're going to see him set up there. As I approached, they had this, the, the two, uh, you know, they had the two ends of the sidewalk completely barricaded off with staff members that were usually background people that, that were uh, background coordinators or, or something in the, in the extras department, taking names and looking at the crew and stuff like that just confirming that people were allowed to eat there because sometimes you have people wandering up to set and say, oh, can I get some food? Well, here we were on a city street in Atlanta and I was crew. You could go up to the window and order food, which is what I did. I ordered what I always did at the time, which was a, a grilled cheese sandwich on wheat with a lot of extremely crispy, well-done bacon. That to me was what I always started my day off with at the time. And I thought it was absolutely wonderful. Now Mario's has a juicing station. They have fresh, you know, juices, they have yogurts, they have all kinds of things. You can get an omelet made for you fresh and whatever you want. And on this particular show, at least in that scene, they were inviting because of the space limitations, they were inviting the background people that were the streets of Nicaragua people to come and get catering with us. Now, sometimes they, the shows that you work on, they will give the background people different food than the actual crew members, but not on this show, not in this scene, at least because they probably had, you know, 30 or 40 people and they just welcomed you to actually eat with the crew. And it was not really a sit down place where you could get food and sit down, unfortunately, because we were on the street, city streets of Atlanta. So we kind of got our food ordered and then ate out of a plate or some sort of a to go box. Now, after I ordered my sandwich, I looked around and the two people that were on either end of the sidewalk, they had their hands full because the city streets of Atlanta are a place that were full of a lot of homeless people, at least in this area. And being that our people that were on the streets of Nicaragua looked like homeless people, it kind of sent a weird message to the homeless people when they would say, hey, where do I get a plate? And then they would be like, okay, well, are you with the crew? And they're like, yeah, 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 I'm with the crew. Where do I get a plate? Poor people were very, very hungry. And some of the crew members were like, oh, yeah, I'm with the crew. Such and such hired me and here's my name. And they'd say, OK, well, you're confirmed going through and grab food. So a lot of the homeless people were coming up there to try to get food from Mario's and it smelled wonderful. You felt so bad for him. What made it even worse is that for whatever infinite wisdom of the show, they chose to set up Mario's and their multi. -tri I mean, we're talking about 100 feet almost of food trucks and various different, you know, food tables set up and all this kind of thing. And it was all over the place set up for you to just grab whatever you wanted to for free. We don't pay for our food on the film industry. And then you walk to set. The worst thing about this is that they set all this stuff up on the city streets of Atlanta in front of a homeless shelter. I'm not kidding. 
Which microphone sounded better to you, microphone A or microphone B? Be sure to tell me your favorite in the comment section down below, and be sure to tell me why. I'm very interested in your opinion on this. Thank you for tuning in to the very first edition of Masked Microphones, and be sure to tune into episode number two for the big reveal as to which microphone is which, and until then, it will be my secret. Take care. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.